You may be surprised to learn that more than 80% of flies go undetected. Everyone deceives themselves from time to time. It's difficult to avoid them entirely, whether they're small lies to spare feelings or big whoppers. And given that almost everyone tells a lie, leaves information out of a discussion, or stretches the truth every now and then. Like acting to enjoy eating that candy that you actually despise, or being friends with someone who's your enemy. This opportunity cost process that we go through to avoid getting in trouble lays the groundwork for a future pattern of lying. While people will always be able to get away with lying, most lies are pretty easy to detect if you know how to read the signs. Here are a few techniques for deciding whether or not someone is telling the truth. 1. Start by asking neutral questions. You can observe a response baseline by asking somewhat simple, non-threatening questions. Ask a few questions about the weather, the weekend plans, or anything else that would elicit a normal, comfortable response. When they respond, pay attention to their body language and eye movement. You want to know how they behave when they're telling the truth. Do they change your mind? Do you prefer to look in one direction or the other? Or do you stare down? Make sure you ask enough questions so that you can spot a pattern. 2. Find a hot spot. When you shift from neutral territory to the lie zone, you should notice the shift in body language, facial expressions, eye movement, and sentence structure. When telling a lie, everyone gives different subconscious cues, which is why it's critical to maintain a normal baseline before entering the lie zone. When lying, liars frequently pull their bodies inward to make themselves feel smaller and less noticeable. Many people will squirm and sometimes conceal their hands to cover up fidgety fingers. You may also notice shoulder shrugging. 3. Observe microfacial expressions People's facial expressions frequently reveal a lie, but some of these expressions are subtle and difficult to detect. Some people's facial coloring will change to a lighter shade of pink, while others will slightly flare their nostrils, bite their lip, perspire slightly, or blink rapidly. As lying begins, each of these changes in facial expression indicates an increase in brain activity. 4. Listen to tone, cadence, and sentence structures. When someone is lying, their tone and cadence of speech will often change slightly. They may begin speaking more quickly or slowly and in a higher or lower tone. As their brain works over time to keep up with their story, the sentences they use often become more complex. 5. Be suspicious of extra details. When someone provides a lot of unnecessary details, it's one of the most obvious signs that they're lying. Assume I ask you what you did last night. I'm not going to trust you if you respond with a long story about how we were at cinema at 5 p.m. sharp and then sat in traffic for 20 minutes before getting to Target and buying a soccer ball and some cereal. You're obviously going out of your way to fabricate an elaborate story to cover your tracks. Liars try to persuade you that they're telling the truth by providing all of these details. It's a foolproof way for them to pull off a lie. However, it provides you with yet another foolproof method of catching them in the act. 6. They tend to stand very still. It's common knowledge that people fidget when they're nervous. This may be a sign of the primitive neurological fight response rather than the flight as the body positions and prepares itself for possible confrontation, said Dr. Lillian Glass, a behavioral analyst and body language expert. When you speak and engage in normal conversation, it's natural for your body to move around in subtle, relaxed, and mostly unconscious movements. As a result, observing a rigid, catatonic stance devoid of movement is frequently a huge warning sign that something is wrong. 7. It may become difficult for them to speak. If you ever watch a videotaped interrogation of a guilty suspect, you will notice that it becomes increasingly difficult for it to speak. This happens because the automatic nervous system reduces salivary flow during times of stress, which dries out the mouth's mucous membranes. Other warning signs include sudden lip biting and pursed lips. 8. They're given way too much information. When someone goes on and on and gives you too much information that you haven't asked for, especially too many details, there's a good chance that he or she isn't telling you the truth. People who are lying want you to believe what they're saying and don't want you to become suspicious. So they sometimes exaggerate the details. They can get tripped up if you come back and clarify or ask advanced questions. 9. They may stare at you without blinking much. When people lie, it's common for them to break eye contact, but the liar may go out of their way to maintain eye contact in order to control and manipulate you. When people tell the truth, most of them will occasionally shift their gaze around and may even look away. Liars, on the other hand, will use a cold, steady gaze to control and intimidate. Rapid blinking is another warning sign to be on the lookout for. 10. They keep repeating themselves. 
When someone begins to stammer or repeat words or phrases, it indicates that they're trying to think of what to say next. This could indicate that they're making up a story to tell. Compare their nervous speech to their normal speech once more. Some people always stammer, so it would be a normal part of their speech for them, not an indication of dishonesty. 11. Throw them off by asking the unexpected. Some liars rehearse their stories over and over again, allowing them to fool your first check for inconsistencies. However, they do not always consider every detail or anticipate your every question. So, prepare some questions that will catch them off guard. That way, they won't have time to tell a lie and may reveal important details about the truth. For example, if they claim to have a stop for pizza as part of their story, ask some questions which pizza place they visited. Was it Pizza Hut or Domino's? And what kind of toppings did they get? Pepperoni, pineapple, and cheese. If they're lying, this will undoubtedly catch them off guard. Of course, lying isn't always a bad thing. After all, the concept of creating fantastical unrealities is the foundation of storytelling, which is a fundamental value in many societies. And lying to ourselves about our abilities, attractiveness, or worth may actually boost our self-esteem. Examinations of a particularly aggressive type of liar, on the other hand, have led to new ideas about the lying brain and what it means. Also, because everyone's lying behavior differs, there is no one quite certain lie detection method. It's crucial to be able to compare a liar's baseline behavior to the body movement, facial expressions, eye movement, and verbal cues they use when lying. Have you ever tried these tricks to find a liar in your group? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Till the end, have a good day.